Hey babes, Jen here. Welcome back to Blindly Honestly. And if you are new, I hope you enjoyed today's video as well. So you're probably wondering why I have no eyeshadow on. That is because I am going to be doing a eyeshadow head-to-head -head video where I will do a look tutorial using two different eyeshadow palettes, one on this side, one on this eye. I'm really excited because I've never done a video like this, so it's going to be really, really cool, so I hope you enjoy. So today's video, I'm going to be reviewing and doing a tutorial with the BH Cosmetics Back to Brazil palette. This palette is $18 on the BH Cosmetics website so I figured it'd be a fun um, palette to play with because the colors are so bright and fun I already swatched some of them in my live stream from uh, the Tuesday after I got back so that's why the palette's kind of messy but just look how bright those colors are so I'm really excited to play with this and then I figured since this is a bright palette and maybe you don't want to spend the $18. I mean, it's not a bad price, but you never know. So, I've had this palette for a while. And I got it from Kmart. It is LA Colors. And, I mean, they're not spot on the same color. So, I'm going to try to do a look with, like, similar colors. I have the hardest time opening this palette. So, that is the LA Colors palette. If you're on my Instagram, I swatched it a while ago, but I never did anything with it. To compare it to the um, Take Me Back to Brazil palette, the colors, they are similar colors. So, I think I'm going to be able to do this. I almost bought the Morph palette that was the same, more, like, more similar of a color scheme than this one, but much more. But I don't know why I just didn't want to buy the Morph palette, so I did this one instead. So I'm going to try to create a look using both of these palettes. I'm going to put the LA Colors on this eye and the BH Cosmetics on this eye and see how they perform. I'm really hoping I can do this because I'm already looking at it and I'm thinking like, oh, there's like, there's a couple shades that are similar, but there's definitely different tones. So we're going to see. I, I, I'm admittedly a little nervous, so so I already primed my eyes, and I'm just going to go ahead and start trying to pack these shades on. And to begin with, I'm going to lay down white just to give the colors something to cling to. So I'm going to go in with the LA Colors and take this white shade right here. And right off the back, this one's really shiny, and it has quite a bit of fallout, so... Oh yeah, that's definitely a shimmery on here. I really was hoping it'd be matte. Okay. So since I used shimmery on that eye with the LA Colors, I'm going to go in with the shimmery white from BH Cosmetics, which is this one right here. That one has about the same kick up, so. And it's clearly not as bright unless you don't kick it off the powder brush first so now I'm going to go in with this flat brush from Coastal Scents and I'm gonna pick up this bright yellow shade right here and we're gonna start on my inner corner Yeah, the shade is not as bright. It's already like super falling out. Let me see what happens if I wet it. Okay. So now I'm going to take this neon from the BH Cosmetics. Right there. And we're going to do the same thing, but I'm not going to get my brush wet just yet to see how it applies. Alright, I'm going to pick up a softer, get a different brush, brush from ColourPop. Try that again. See, like, I was really hoping these colors would pop and stand out. So I'm going to wet my brush. Wow, even then it is still not wanting to stick. 
I had already put concealer on before I started. So the fact that even with the concealer underneath, these colors aren't popping is just like so annoying. Now I'm going to pick up this peachy shade right here. This is not working. All right. I'm gonna grab a similar shade from the BH Cosmetics. So I'm gonna take this one right here and we're gonna do an attempt to get it to blend into the yellow. So <laughs> this is a disaster, like, ugh. So now I'm gonna take this bright pink right here and blend it into wherever that shimmer was supposed to go. Like my eyelids look a mess right now. I'm gonna try to put some more of this one on. Why is every shadow in this palette shimmery? So now I'm going to take this bright pink right here and blend it on this side. Why couldn't the rest of these shades be this pigmented? I'm seriously mad that this pink is the most pigmented out of all of them. And that the neon pink and the neon yellow were nothing. You guys don't even know how mad I am right now. <laughs> so now I'm going to take this blue right here. And I'm going to put it on the end of my eye. Okay, so I'm going to go with a similar blue. On this side, I'm going to use this one right here. This side's looking better. But I still really, really wish that they looked more similar. Okay, right, I'm gonna try to clean this up a little bit because I'm not like happy. So now I'm gonna do my crease. And for this, I'm going to do a purple. So I'm going to take this really pretty purple right here in the LA Color palette and pray and hope it doesn't mess up more than it already is. So I completely knocked off all the color I had on my lid. In hindsight, I probably should have done my crease first. Oh my god, come on. Basic makeup crap, like, okay. So now I'm gonna take a similar shade in the BH Cosmetics, this purple right here, right here, and I'm gonna do this crease. See, that is how it should look. It should not have wiped it all off my lid. Oh my god. Like, I'm not even gonna call this a tutorial. I'm gonna call this, like, the worst makeup tutorial video ever. Like, I'm gonna go in and try to fix this mess going on again. So, I mean, it's not bad looking, but that neon pink is just, like, not even there. I'm gonna go back in with the blue. Okay, so now I'm gonna fix this eye with the LA color. I'm just, like, you know what? At this point, I don't even care anymore. I'm just like, what? Like, what? Because there's literally nothing else that could go bad right now. I had hope, okay? I had a dream. I had hope. Like, I'm just laughing off right now because it just looks so bad. Like, I mean, I'll admit, this eye definitely looks better than this eye. For a comparison video, <laughs> I'm still trying to pack on this yellow because I feel like it should be more bright. I'm just gonna get it wet. Like I packed a lot on that brush and I'm just gonna get it soaked. There you go, honey. There you go. So that is the trick with the yellow. You gotta get your brush soaking good. Much, much better. All right, so I'm gonna go do my eyeliner and try to put on lashes. I will be right back and then I will talk about everything that went wrong. Okay, so now that we have our eyeliner, lashes, and under eye done, I'm going to talk about these palettes. 
So I'm going to start with the LA color first. So these colors only work when wet, basically is what I discovered. Because the yellow did not want to apply well. But honestly, when I went back in with this fluffier brush, this uh, domed fluffy brush from Coastal Scents, the yellow applied very well. So I should, probably should have used that to begin with, but you know, trial and error. The light um, pink color that I had put right there in transition, you know, <laughs> didn't want to come to the party. It was just like, no, I'm tired. I don't have no makeup on, I'm not coming. And then the bright pink next to it, it definitely came with, you know, came and went. The blue actually is what stole the show on this look. Although looking at the yellow now that it's like built up, it's really bright and pretty. I do feel like this palette does not hold up to the BH Cosmetics. And I wish there were more mattes in this palette. Like, looking at the palette, there really are no mattes in here. And I mean, I kind of knew that because I already did a swatch a while ago, but it had been so long that I guess I forgot. I mean, it looks really funky right now because this side's like super bright yellow and this is like a dull yellow and in inner corner and all that. So I may end up going over this eye with the BH Cosmetics and kind of like blending it if I can. Anyway, so on to this eye with the BH Cosmetics Back to Brazil. I was not impressed. Like, this neon yellow, it took a while to build up, and even when I did build it up, it's very patchy looking. The fallout on both palettes, like, I'm still brushing fallout off my eye. They did blend together really pretty. Like, I like how it kind of has, like, a gradiency going on. Uh, again, the same thing with, like, that baby pink on this eye. It kind of just didn't want to come to the party. Uh, the blue is really pretty. On this eye, definitely the blue and the pink kind of steal the show. And the purple that I used in the crease did a really good job as well. Can't say much for the purple in the crease on this eye. And like I had, like you had seen before, every time I went in and did my crease, it kind of just like wiped off all the shadow on my lid. That's why I had to go over it multiple times to try to keep, make the shadows stay. And then when I did the under eye on this eye, I could not get the pink to show up at all. It just kind of blended with the, the blue and got really muddy. But this eye, the blue and the pink are like popping. Even the yellow is popping down there, which is impressive. Out of the two palettes, I would definitely go with the Back to Brazil over the LA Colors. Just because I feel like the Back to Brazil performed a bit better than the LA Colors. And I like that these are all mattes. Like, these are mainly mattes. It looks like there are a few shimmers in here, but it's a good mix. Like, you have at least four mattes and four shimmers of each of each color group, which is pretty impressive. It also comes with the matte white and the shimmering white. For $18, that's not bad, and it's cruelty-free. So the total net weight for this whole palette is 1.23 ounces. And the net weight for this one is 0.95 ounces. And this one is not cruelty free, so I will be throwing it away after this video. <laughs> so I really hope you guys enjoyed this little head-to-head -head battle with these two palettes. Um, again, I'm really not impressed with either of them, but if I had to choose between the two, I would go with the Back to Brazil. I'm going to keep playing with this palette and see if I can figure out another way to make it work better. So if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. And make sure you have that bell hit so let me know if I would upload new videos. I post every Wednesday and Friday around 9 a.m. in the morning, so make sure you have your alarm set. I just wanted to remind you guys that this Friday's live stream is a little different than normal. It is a special edition live stream. We'll have some special guests talking with me Friday night. And instead of beauty chats with Jen, it is going to be beauties talk beasts. Are you ready to get scared? Because this Friday, you can join us as we delve into what hides in the shadows and creeps at night. With Geeks Paranormal, The Lady Borgia, Tanya Gentle, Best Friend in Your Thread, and Catch Your Breath Beauty, and I, as the beauties chat about the beasts that hunt your nightmares. I will have a link down below to the event so that you can 
set a reminder so you won't forget, and that is this Friday, June 22nd at 7 p.m. Pacific. So I'm gonna get going. Again, thank you guys for your continuous support and love, and I wish you lots of love and whiskers. Bye. Open eye through the waves cut through me, hypnotized by the sounds of